Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and today I'm going to show you a quick way to make a side-by-side -side before and after. Now, this is really useful because you can put it up on your website to demonstrate what you do in retouching, or you can use it to just show off on your Instagram like I do. It's just a nice way to show exactly what you've done to an image. So, the first thing we want to do is make our edits and actually finish it up and uh, actually have our file ready so we can show what the after is, which I just imported a quick JPEG here. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into Lightroom. And now we're going to go to our history panel here, and then we're going to go ahead and go back all the way to where we first imported it. And the reason I like to do this is because I do quite a bit of color work inside of Lightroom and uh, adjustments to highlights and shadows and etc. Uh, stuff like that. So what I would like to do is go back to what it was when it was actually imported so it shows more of a difference than if I were to just show my regular import. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down here, we're going to right click, and then we're going to go to edit in, and then we're going to select Adobe Photoshop CC. Now we're gonna just hit that and then it's gonna load in and it'll take a little bit of time to get in here. And there it is. So now that we got it, what do we do with it? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna resize it because I have my other image already resized. So I'm gonna hit Control Alt I and we're gonna put it to 2160 for our short end and go ahead and hit okay to confirm. And this will sharpen it up a little bit, but it doesn't make too much of a big difference. So the next thing is we're gonna click here and we're going to drag it off and that's going to make it a separate layer and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're selecting on the move tool and then we're going to click and drag over onto this canvas with this one and we're going to kind of make sure it's not like over top of it we'll just put it all the way to the side here and then just drop it and then it'll pop in okay so now that that's settled what we're going to do is we're going to expand our canvas and we're going to do that by hitting Control alt c and that's going to bring up this dialog here. Now, right now it's set to width 9 inches, height 13.5 inches. Now, what you could do is you could just type in double what this is, but there's a much easier way to do that. And that's go ahead and go to this drop down and change it to percent. And now it's set to width 100, height 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and hit this over one like that. So it looks like that. And then we're going to change the width to 200%. And hit OK. And now the reason we hit over to bring the arrow over is that that says what we have currently. We want all that on the canvas to go all the way over to the right. So that expanded this over like this. So now what we do is we select this layer with the before on it because layer 0 was the uh, original or the edited version. So if we toggle that on and off, you'll see already. What we do is we select our original and then we click and drag over and then release. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's really simple and now what you'd want to do is you'd want to uh, convert it to uh, sRGB, save it out, then upload it to the web and it's that simple. So hopefully you guys were able to learn something today. If you were, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.